If you've never seen one of our Prove It videos, you might be newer to our channel or you might have been here the last five years. It's been a while since I've done one. But the point of the Prove It's are to take a product that has a marketing claim that I don't believe and see if we can prove that it does what it says it does. Now I'm gonna say this, I'm saying this with peace and love. I am not getting paid by any of these companies, so whether I approve it or not, this is just something that I found was in our industry, the art supply industry, that had an interesting claim. And today, the focus, the target, is Winsor & Newton's professional acrylics. Okay, what are we proving? They write, these are our finest acrylic paints. They are made with the latest developments in resin technology. Most acrylics darken as they dry, but our clever translucent binder means that you get what you see. It's the first and only acrylic to offer the clearest resin, no color shift, and color matching is made easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the Winsor Newton Professional Acrylics along with uh, a couple of other popular brands, um, put some wet paint down next to some dry paint to see if there is any color shift and to what degree and see if we can prove it. What we have here is um, five colors that I've laid down that have dried. Now, I will say, I don't know if this makes a big difference or not, across the brands, the only color that is consistent, the same pigment uh, for all three is ultramarine blue. I could have gotten it for the other ones, but this is what we had in the studio and I'm lazy. If we want to use that as a control, like, okay, maybe just ultramarine blue doesn't, we'll, we'll, we'll use that, okay? Now, you'll see down here, Will, that I'm shiny, I'm glossy. So I added some gloss medium here because what I want to do is also be able to take out that mystery of, well, is it just because it's shiny that it looks like the color's different? We're going we're gonna to take a look. So we're going to start with Lindsay Newton and then I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to ask all of y'all to come up here because what they see on the camera might not be what I see. What you see, because you've got glasses, might not be what I see. You can see more. I probably should be wearing glasses. I ran over four raccoons yesterday. We're gonna start by laying down some of the paint fresh out of the tube. Now this is the Winsor Newton, so they claim virtually no color shift, or actually in that copy it says no color shift. So let's see. And if you, by the way, I should say, if you don't know what color shift is, basically it means is the color changes the dries. All right. So here is lemon yellow, and I'm just going to literally just pull it down right next to it. Now acrylics stereotypically dry darker rather than lighter, and it looks similar enough. I mean, I don't want to be too nitpicky about it. I mean, there is maybe a slight variance. Let me pull that down to the glossy area. Yeah, maybe just ever so slightly with the yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this quickly so that it doesn't dry on me. And I'm going to invite you guys up here, if you don't mind, to take a look and see what you think. <laughs> I'll tell you right now that, that that does not look like it has no color shift. This is interesting. So on this one where I have applied the gel medium, it does look sim more similar, um, but it's still not dead on. And you know, the idea is like, okay, so maybe it doesn't shift as much, um, but that gloss in this example really shows you what that, um, the shininess, how that affects the paint color. Okay, that was ultramarine blue. This uh, and this red was a little lizard and crimson, and this is a raw umber, one of my favorite colors. Not. And then finally, some Mars black. Everybody, team, let us commune and uh, take a look. We're trying to prove that these have virtually no color shift. 
Well, the only way we can do that is look at traditional acrylics that don't claim they don't color shift and see if they have a more dramatic effect. All right, next is a brand of acrylics that you might have heard of before called Golden. And that's a joke because Golden's pretty well known. All right. Okay, that to me looks just similar to the um, Windsor Newton. I could nitpick it and say that's a little darker, but it's so it's so minute. Um, is that a word, minute? Mylanta. And this is a pyrrole red dark, ultramarine blue, burnt umber, and this is carbon black. Okay, friends, join me now. Tell me again if you if you guys disagree with anything. Let me know. This was similar enough to me to the Windsor Newton where it was like not a huge amount of color shift. I feel like I see a little difference. You see, see you see a little more. difference. It seems a little duller than how that one turned out. That's true. The red. What do you guys think? That, that dried darker. It's pretty close though. Yeah. It's. it's you can see that the it's red, darker, the yeah. red actually maintained some sheen on most of it. You know, where I got it a little too thin, it it, it was gone. But the blue definitely got a little darker, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in my opinion. The um, burnt umber got darker, mm -hmm. and the black, uh, with if you look at the the gloss medium, mm -hmm. looks pretty similar. Pretty mm -hmm. close, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that was the golden. Um, now, just for S and G, we're going to look at the Lucas Pastos. That is probably, tell me if you see something differently, the closest of similar mm -hmm. in terms of color shift out of any of the ones that I've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The red definitely has a little bit of shift. Mm -hmm. The blue, where it's with the gloss medium, very little, mm -hmm. but up top you can see a difference. Brown, even yeah. with the gloss medium, this is a, a raw umber. There is a, a, a darkening. And then the black is actually pretty spot on with the gloss medium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. Does everybody concur? Yeah. 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 All right. I, I kind of like it. It reminds me of like a like a yellow Laffy Taffy. Oh, know. yeah, like you banana flavor? Yeah, like banana okay. flavor. Like, like, now we're on the yeah. same page. All right. What I can say is you might be able to make an argument for some colors that there's a little color shift. But what you'll notice is it's consistently like, well, the yellow had, you know, less. The point is, these differences are so small, in my opinion, I don't know if it matters. I don't know if I proved whether or not that these actually have virtually no color shift. It turns out that it doesn't make that huge of a difference in application. Now, I'm not putting the Winsor Newton Artist Acrylics down. They're a perfectly good paint to use. Um, but do they actually have no color shift compared dramatically to these two brands that uh, don't say that they have a, a translucent binder? You know, I don't, I don't know. And like most things we do on the videos, I just play with paint uh, like you would at home. I don't, um, you know, have drawdown tools or anything like that. We are using what I call artist science standards. Do it. Okay, there it is. That's me. Uh, where it's just, what would you have at home if you were playing with it, okay? Maybe I'm missing something. So I'd like to know, do you see a difference uh, that, that, that we're not seeing? Have you had experience with the Windsor Newton Artist Acrylics um, that you feel like they do shift or don't shift? And if you're with Windsor and Newton and you see this video, I would love for you to comment. I'll even have you come in the studio and maybe you can help show us what I might be missing. But from what I can tell, from what we all can tell, they all have a slight color shift. None of them are really, really major, but I will say that consistently the ultramarine blue, which is the one consistent color we had, they all dried darker, including the Windsor Newton um, professional acrylics. So we did not prove it today, which we don't often do, but we will be back. I have another one coming up. 
do you have a product that you would like to see me prove it does what it says it does? You know, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Leave a comment below. Uh, give us a like and a follow. It's what you're supposed to say on YouTube. I don't follow any rules. And let me know if there's another product that you think that would be worth doing a prove it for. And I think the biggest reason that I haven't done a prove it in five years is that I haven't had a product that really stood out to me as like, that's an outrageous marketing claim. Let's see if it does it. For the outrageous marketing claim of no color shift, eh. So I leave you with this. Eh. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. I'm not doing my regular thing here. I'm just going right into it. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Mike Not Jerry, where I continue my art adventures, baby adventures, family adventures, behind the scenes adventures, outtake adventures. It's a very adventurous place. And so thanks for watching this Prove It. Yeah, I can end it like that, right? Did I say it all? I said too much. It's Natasha. Hi, sweet love. Natasha says hi and she loves you all. They all say hi back. I got pain on me. <laughs> no, did I? Did I? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. OCD is a license to be a. <laughs> she knows who she married.